Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's well, Little West 16 here, and we're back with the first tree. Last time, both Joseph's father and another one of my kids died. And now, we're going after this wolf we saw. So let's go. And I was just saying, oh, what happened to our kids and another one died? What about our last one? I want that star thing. really beautiful though and sad that's probably why he's seeing us because we both had lost he lost his father we're losing our babies Missing of a scan are all good too. It makes me so sad. Does this mean we only have one more baby left? Can we save any of our babies? And what is this wolf doing here? Here we go. Wow. This is cool. Joseph. You can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. Are we just a fox in his dream? You don't need to feel so lost. 
Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Is that a deer? What is that? You know what it's like not to have a Come back. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. Where'd the deer go? Are we going the right way? Should we go back? I don't know where we're supposed to go. This Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way, except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and I withdrew. More and more I became the weird, quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried talk biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. The wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of weed. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly and that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph. And you're not no. as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. Just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself, 
How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road, together. Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns in this, but it always leads to the same thing. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. <gasps> Hello! Dear! Hi. Can I live here? Can I be a part of the family? Is this all just a dream? What's wrong with your teeth, buddy? That's what you look like. Mm. I don't want to leave. It's so happy here. We have to leave. We need to find our baby. Our little fox kit. Time to do some rock climbing. This game is so beautiful. Here we go. Oh no. This is not this is singer. Her last cub would be waiting for her at the first tree. She was almost there. The rain cascaded onto the jade valley where the entrance to the tree was. Life was protected there, because that's where life began. It was now only a mother and a daughter left. Items from my life still dotted the ground as she moved closer to her destination. And destiny. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I feel like next time this is gonna be sad. 
make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you like this series and press the notification bell so you get notified whenever you see a video bye